Hey everybody out there in the YouTube world, uh, of course watching that episode of Vinyl Village Garage, thanks for checking us out again. This episode's a little different, we're going to do a little bit of a field call again. There's a 1968 Firebird that was, I guess it was a, given a lead on this one to go check it out. Now, the pictures you see online, of course you got to take that with a grain of salt. It looked, eh, okay, it looked kind of sad in the pictures, of course. Uh, unfortunate story, looks like the gentleman uh, had the car, uh, went overseas, didn't come home, dad and course kept the car for years not in the best probably location now the dad has passed now the property's getting cleaned up so this car got ripped out of the barn literally with the front end loader and this guy picked it up now he's trying to sell it now doesn't mean it's completely junk but uh looking at it from here i i don't know it looks kind of sad but uh, i do like them kind of in bad shape because for the most part you replace almost everything anyway so what we really start with so wanted to drag you along want you to check out the journey here of this car and to make us we can make a decision whether we take this one make an offer and make it go again or maybe let this one go so follow along here i'm gonna grab the camera you can drag underneath the car climb inside the car go around it and then uh i guess we'll figure out what we want to do here at the end so let's go check it out so here you have it not much to look at really give you a quick walk around climb underneath but uh, a lot of rust so far not seeing much more besides rust rust and more rust now it has some cool side pipes put on one time. The other side's completely missing. Under the hood is a complete engine. They're gonna try to start that up here. They're gonna work on it a better part of the day, but I think we're gonna have a go of making it run. It is the correct YJ stamp for a 68 350, and it does have the 17 casting heads. On the body tag, you'll see a one, which is autumn bronze, and the two means a black Cordova top. So good combination, but firewall, again, rusted out. We're gonna try to start this thing up here. Just hang on a second. So we're getting ready to fire it up, see if it'll start filling up the front bowl on this holly that's been sitting on this car since the late 70s new coal wire new coal new points and condenser that's it that's all we've done to it to try and get it running original plugs you ready all right go ahead That's good. Well, evidently it runs. <laughs> yeah, I guess it runs. That's a plus. Right, tuck down somewhere. Let's have a peep underneath the car here. You're going to see maybe a little more rust or lack of sheet metal. Now, at the passenger side, you see daylight coming through the floor. That's where the spring is supposed to be attached to the floor pan with the frame rail. So. That's not good. Um, looking around here, you'll see more of the same stuff. Uh, there's some of the autumn bronze original color, which I guess still is on part of the car. This outer rocker panel doesn't look too bad, but the uh, subframe's taking a solid hit here. That's not a good sign. And then, oh, well, that's actually not good either. The frame appears to be buckled pretty good. Just the one side, though. Let's get a little closer here, get you what I can see. It appears it got pinched or buckled or twisted. That bulge is not supposed to be there. So it does have the right oil paint on it. That's a plus. No major fluid leaks, which is even more amazing. Let's take a peek on the inside. The steering wheel is not a bad steering wheel. Not correct for the year, but cool steering wheel. Dash isn't cracked or falling apart. Instrument cluster is intact. Most of the gauges, pieces, trim. Seats are here. They could be reupholstered. Uh, rear window trim's there. Uh, headliner's not there. Center console car, that's kind of a plus. Um, carpet, yeah, definitely not reusable. Door jam's okay on this side. All the pieces under the dash appear to be here, so. Give her hell jump, up, drill. jump over here to the old passenger side here. Now this, uh, and yeah, the door jam here is dead. It's gone. That's Rocker panel doesn't look good on this side at all. Um, yeah, what's in the glove box? I wonder. Uh, hmm. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I guess we won't know this time around. Now, center console has anything cool. Hey, look at that. Leonard Skinner's. Well, that just raised the value of this car by a couple bucks. Anyway, um, wires are, yeah, hmm, nice. Okay. 
Hey, it's got the old grab handle still on the dash. That's a plus. So not really much to look at in here. It's um, pretty sad. Yeah, the passenger side isn't much better than the driver's side. The paint doesn't look as bad, though, but uh, interesting note here. The window channels and window trims are all here. I don't see a lot of rust through, but uh, you can see here the proof it was a vinyl top car. It had a quarter skin hung on it or something. But uh, he's trying to drill the trunk lock out. It's a little noisy. The bottom of the quarter panel doesn't look too bad, but that's kind of where the good stops on this side. <laughs> that trunk deck's dead, too. Anyway, I'll put, take a peek here under the pass that way he keeps messing with that trunk deck see what we can see here but so far it's looking like this one may be a little more than I want to get into but here's that passenger side frame rail or at least the lack thereof and then you'll see where the spring's supposed to be mounted it's about three inches higher than it should be it's poked through the floor and then here's your carpet hanging out so that's uh, not good at all so I think I've seen enough here it's I see it's more rust rust and rocker panel rust I'm thinking we may have to just uh Make a really cheap offer or pass on this one, but uh, it was fun to check it out anyway. Well, that was, I guess you might say, a little more disappointing than I'd hoped. Now, I expected the car to be rough and rusty. Unfortunately, it's pretty much everything. Frame rails, rocker, floor pan, trunk pan, rear quarter panels, door jams, trunk deck, hood. Um, pretty much all the sheet metal is just not any good. Now that doesn't mean the car is completely garbage, it just means keep that in mind what you want to pay for the car, how much you want to put into it, knowing it needs a lot of sheet metal work, that's time and money. I like doing that kind of stuff, but that does turn into another big project. We're talking about this, a 1968 Firebird, originally set up with an inline six, now it's been changed over to, a, I guess you'd say, correct year 350, even with the right heads on it. Someone through a lot of trouble, but we're not talking about original setup. And even if it was, we're not talking about a rare car. The only thing kind of interesting about it is the paint coat option on it. The autumn bronze color, beautiful color, one year only option, but I just don't know if that brings the value of the car up enough to do a complete overhaul like that. Now, I do like to save them birds, so to speak. I like to see this one come back to life, but I guess it comes down to, I'm going to leave this up to you guys, whether I should make an offer on the car, try to buy it, haul it home, and put it in the Vinyl Village garage, and do up another bird rescue or not. So I guess what I'm going to say here is let's take some votes, drop it in the messages. Yes, I should try to make an offer and try to haul this thing home and fix it or no and say, no, I think we probably should wait for a different one because this one's going to be a, a long project or a long haul to get it back on the road. So I guess let me know what you think. Drop something in the comments there. Appreciate you joining me on this journey of checking out a car. If anything, maybe you learn what not to buy or what to look for. Now this, like I said, didn't have much left of it. So if you want to see more videos like this, fixing cars on the side of the road, which seems to be the trend for me right now, or new, old, anything automotive in a two-car garage is kind of what I started this channel on. So I guess I'm going to stick true to that. So if you like to see those kind of videos, please subscribe. Share it with your friends and tell everybody about it. I'd like to keep this going and watch this channel grow. And of course, to all my current subscribers, a big thank you and I appreciate it. And then if you could, share it with your friends. I want to see this thing happen and I hope that you enjoy what we're doing. And of course, any feedback, let me know just the same. So I'm going to head towards home. It's about an hour drive, kind of middle of nowhere here. I'm getting kind of hungry and a little bit tired. So... I guess until uh, I figure out what we're going to do with this one, I guess we'll think about it, and uh, we'll see you next time.